The National Emergency Management Agency is showing more contracts in the hurricane rebuilding efforts. It's been a little over a week since NEMA dispersed contracts to rebuild homes on Crooked Island, San Salvador and Long Island following last year's Hurricane Joaquin. And today, even more contracts were issued to continue that work. Cleopatra Murphy headed to the Southern Islands today and has this report. More than a quarter of a million dollars in contracts for repair of government buildings were awarded to contractors on Crooked Island during an official signing ceremony Thursday morning at Colonel Hill High School. Contracts were awarded to four local contractors for the repair of two clinics, one in Landreal Point, the Administrator's Office, Environmental Health and the Principal's Office. The buildings received major structural damage and require extensive work. Contractors anticipate once work gets underway, they will be completed within three months. A delegation including Member of Parliament for Michael, the Honorable V. Alfred Gray, Minister for Local Government, the Honorable Hope Strawn, and NEMO officials travelled to the island. Strawn says with the signing of the contracts, it is hoped that operations on Crooked Island can soon return to normalcy. She says the island administrator in particular has been hampered in her efforts because of damages to her office. Minister Gray, who also held a town meeting with residents, assured them that although recovery efforts for the island are not progressing as fast as he would like, officials are working to rebuild the community that was devastated by Hurricane Joaquin. From Colonel Hill, Crooked Island, Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News. Well, over on Long Island, residents there are rebuilding after Hurricane Joaquin swept through their community, leaving a trail of destruction behind. Our Julian Gibson talked to one of the grocers who says rebuilding has been rough, but they are pressing ahead. During the passage of Hurricane Joaquin, Floyd Marie was at home, worried and concerned. It was the longest 72 hours of rain and strong winds he have ever seen. His business, Midbay Mini Mart, located in the Bight, Long Island, suffered severe damage. But slowly but surely, he is bouncing back. Well, I lost a lot of all my frozen stuff, uh, produce, meat, dairy. I lost all the perishable products. Because, uh, you know, they, after two days, they're no more good. And uh, we didn't have current, neither generator, so I lost everything like that. These islands, most of them don't have insurance, so you have to do everything out of pocket. It's been pretty difficult uh, getting back. Uh, you know, uh, everybody lost just about everything, all the furniture and stuff like that. And uh, But uh, for the last four weeks, I saw a big improvement as far as things coming back together. In your lifetime, have you ever witnessed something like that? No. Uh, they say some long years ago in the 1800s or a uh, hurricane, the ocean came over, but not since. It's been the first. We had to look at getting insurance because you know you never know when this will happen again. Reporting for the ZNS Network News, I am Julian Gibson. Family, friends, and Progressive Liberal Party supporters flocked to PLP headquarters today to reflect on the life and contributions of the late Nola Rubian Hanna Presenti, a native of Springs Point, Acklands, but moving to Harbor Island, Eleuthera, Ma Ruby, as she was affectionately called, was an active member of the PLP and a dedicated stalwart counselor. During a memorial service today, scores paid tribute, including Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie. He noted that the party was built on the foundation laid by Presenti and others who have now passed on. He called her an exemplary businesswoman with a winning personality. My Ruby, confronted with the death of her husband, a young man, had to step into his shoes take over the business and develop the business for 37 years. So as a businesswoman, she set a high standard. She pushed the envelope for women. She never had any time to think about learning business principles. She had to learn as she progressed the business. Yeah, Macron Member of Parliament Melanie Griffin and Elizabeth Member of Parliament Ryan, Ryan Pinder were among those reflecting on Ma Ruby's legacy. You wouldn't be able to go to Harbor Island without visiting Kingham Village. It would be a ritual. And no matter how many times 
we endeavor and we visit the island, especially us Spanish Welsmen who, who, who we look to go to Harbor Island to get a little bit of that release from Spanish Wells occasionally <laughs> on those weekends. She also, I think, like I say, as an example, a role model for women. The Bahamas has some great women. We who are in Parliament and in the forefront of political life today, we have strong examples and people like Marubi. 